Greetings folks and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today, sat in the captain's chair of the old Jalope, where I've been out and about on a bit of a drive round in Rattington in West Lancashire. I'm actually on a recce for a future video. But today's video is going to be about the free over 75's TV licence. Now, as a lot of you out there are aware, the BBC recently announced that they will be scrapping this type of TV licence for pensioners that they deem um, basically don't need one, you know, that they can afford £154.50 pence a year and as it increases, so will their TV licence. So, unless you're on pension credit, as of June 2020, you'll be expected to stump up the annual fee. Now, lots of you out there have left comments on some of my older TV licensing videos asking about my thoughts about this change and how do I think the BBC uh, will implement this change. Well, although I'm late to the party, Hot Potters, on this particular subject, you know, with being away on holiday and then playing catch-up at work, I have brought a decent bottle with me because I have in my possession a copy of a letter that's currently being sent out to all households where there is a free over 75's TV licence in place. Now this letter is a general information letter and it's one that my, my own father received. He's currently got one of these free TV licences and they sent him this letter last week. And the first thing that I noticed about it is the style of envelope that it's coming. If you take a look at that, those of you who've watched some of my older videos will know that that's the style that they send the threatogram in. You know, it's usually a brown envelope to mimic a, a government department type of correspondence. It has the TV licensing logo in the bottom left hand corner. It's got that those ever important words underneath, important information enclosed. And then it has a return address on the back, you know, which is Darlington, which is where all this crap comes from. Now one thing that I haven't seen before, I don't have on any of my threatograms, is that funny little triangle there. Apparently those of you out there who have the older style of threatograms, you know, dating back from, say, the GPO days and sh just shortly after, when uh, Capita took over, you get those funny little triangles on the, the corner. Why those have made a reappearance, who knows. Right, folks, on to the letter. So it has my father's name and address up at the top. In the opposite corner, we have the TV licensing logo. Then we have the web address. We have the date this was sent, which is June 2019. Then it's got his TV licensing number. That's in place of where I would have had a reference number, you know, if this was a threatogram. Then we have the line, important information about your TV licence. Now, what they've done with the font, they've made it bold, but they haven't chosen black. They've chosen like a blue-grey type of colour, you know, for the font. Uh, they don't want it to be too threatening, after all. The person reading this hasn't done anything wrong, but they do want them to, to sit up and take notice of what they're saying, so that's why they've chosen that colour, I think. It goes on to say, Dear Mr H... You may have seen or heard in the news recently that the current arrangement for free TV licences for those aged 75 or over, paid for by the UK government, will come to an end next year. I'm writing to give you some more detail about how the scheme is changing and to let you know what will happen next. Then in the next paragraph it starts with how the scheme will change. That's in bold and in black, so it's important you know, that the, uh, the reader you know, takes notice at this point. Free TV licences funded by the government for all over 75s will come to an end in June 2020. June 2020 is in black and it's in bold. Why they've repeated information that they've already given you in the opening paragraph is anyone's guess. But the letter continues, the BBC has given the responsibility to decide what scheme, if any, should replace the concession, taking into account that the money would have to come from the BBC's budget that goes to fund programmes and services for everyone. So there's a little bit of a guilt trip at this juncture, Hot Potters. You know, if you if you claim a TV licence from the BBC as free, you know, that means that they're going to have to rob programmes and services for everyone, so the quality will deteriorate. They're trying to give them a bit of a guilt trip, which isn't on, is it? 
Blatter continues, the BBC has announced that from June 2020, households, whether there is anyone aged 75 or over, who receives pension credit, will still be entitled to receive a free TV licence paid for by the BBC. Households, where there is no one aged 75 or over, that receives pension credit, will need to pay for their TV licence. The BBC is introducing this new scheme to help the poorest older pensioners who will continue to get a free licence. It also means that all licence fee payers can continue to receive the best programmes and services that the BBC can provide. Well, regarding the BBC introducing this new scheme, the only reason they've done it is because they fear the bad publicity that they would get if they tried to put a blanket uh, scrap on all over 75 TV licences. If they started making people who were on pension credit pay, they know that there would be a lot of bad publicity and bad PR from, um, you know, Age Concern and groups like that who look out for the welfare of older pensioners. So that's the only reason that they've introduced it, not because of the kind-hearted dear old ante. Regarding um, this scheme means that they can continue to receive the best programmes and services that the BBC can provide. No comment. No comment on that one. So when we turn over, it states, there's nothing you need to do now. That's in bold and in black to inform you that... Uh, you know, you don't need to worry. You know, don't panic Captain Mannering and all that kind of good stuff. Nothing is changing until next year. You will be covered until the 31st of May 2020 when your current licence expires. We will send you another free over 75 licence to cover you until then. You don't need to contact us. That's in bold and in black. So obviously they've had a lot of pensioners contacting them since they made this announcement. As they feel the need to put it in a letter like that. Um, if you re if you receive pension credit, please make sure you keep your latest pension credit letter safe, as we may ask you to send us a copy later when it's time to claim your free TV licence. But you don't need to send us anything just yet. Now I'll return to that in a, a moment because my father did have a few concerns about that particular paragraph, and I'm sure it'll be shared by many pensioners out there. When you need to do something, we'll get back in touch. So that's in bold. It's in black. And I'm sure that the BBC, the bloodsuckers that they are, uh, will be back in touch once the licence expires and they want the money from them. We will be writing to you again in good time before the 31st of May 2020 to let you know what you need to do. Then once again, in bold, in black, you don't need to take any action in the meantime. So once again, that tells me the, feel, the fact that they felt the need to repeat the fact you don't need to do anything at this moment in time, that they've had a lot of worried pensioners contacting them. That's probably why they've created this letter and sent it out. Where to go for more information? That's in bold and it's in black. You can keep up to date with the latest information by visiting tvl.co.uk slash age or by listening to recorded messages on and then there's a telephone number. And to find out more about why the BBC is making this change, please visit bbc.co.uk slash age. Spoiler alert, the reason that they've made this change is that the BBC have been forced off the government's teat because they've been the ones paying for these TV licences. So they're now looking to latch on to uh, the actual person who was receiving the TV licence teat to get the money. That's uh, the reason they've made the change. The letter close is yours sincerely. A. Roberts, Alison Roberts, Customer Service Director, TV Licensing. And that's the letter that they're sending out to everybody, as I say, who's currently in receipt of a free over TV, 75's TV licence. Now, regarding the paragraph about needing to send copies of letters into them, this is the bit that concerns my father the most. He's not very happy that he needs to make a copy of a letter that's private correspondence to him about his financial status and send it in to a private company, i.e. Crapita. Especially when Crapita don't have a very good track record at dealing with public databases, and they don't. You know, you can go online and look up how they've made cock-up after cock-up and made a dog's dinner of near enough anything that they've touched. How they're still in business, who knows? You know, I won't go into that one in this video, but um, he's very concerned that he will need to make a copy at a future date and send it in. So I'm sure there's many pensioners out there who will also share that concern. Speaking personally, if I was my father, 
I wouldn't claim one. I just wouldn't bother because, um, you know, the BBC have no right to demand you send them your financial details, you know. I know they'll say, well, that's the only way that we can verify, but I'm sure they could put something in place with the DWP where they can contact the DWP, say, is Mr. Such a Such a Body in receipt of pension credit, and they can say yay or nay, and then they can take it from there. I don't feel that there's a need for people to have to be sending their personal information into the BBC. You know, it's um, it's outrageous that they should even consider that people should do that. But it seems that's the way they're going to go. Now, regarding my own personal thoughts on why, you know, regarding why they brought this in the BBC, we always knew that they wasn't going to just become benevolent good old auntie once the government stopped paying them for these free TV licences. They were going to look to get that money elsewhere. They probably did a bit of a study somewhere and tried to work out that if they raised the licence fee for everybody else, would that offset it? Not really a good idea, seeing as TV licensing sales dwindle year on year. Yes, they do, BBC, please accept that. As millions more cancel, you know... The, They've admitted that, they've had so many cancellations, so that's not a good idea. The only way they could do it was means test. Like I said, I think if they could have blanket scrapped it altogether, they would have done. But they fear the bad PR, and that's why they've made it as people know, unless they're on pension credit, they, you know, they won't receive one. So they're just putting stumbling blocks, I think, in people's way. Like that, you need to make a copy of your letter and send it in to us and jump through this hoop and jump through that hoop. It's typical of the BBC. They're hoping that those pensioners will say, well, I'm not doing that, and they'll pay for the licence anyway. That's how it looks to me. Now, regarding the fairness of the scheme, whether I think it's fair that people should pay, you know, if, they, if they're financially better off than somebody on pension credit, I, I don't think that's right either, because there's going to be a lot of pensioners out there who, uh, unfortunately they're going to find themselves just above the threshold for receiving pension credit. And they're the ones that are going to get punished the most. Because no, I've no doubt those pensioners will have scrimped and saved all their lives, worked hard all their lives, accepted second best during their working lives on things like holidays and cars and, and other possessions, so they could have a bit of money when they retired and have a, a better quality of life than just solely relying upon the state pension. But because they've been prudent, it will take them just above the threshold to receive pension credit and mean that they're now liable for the annual fee, which, as I said, currently stands at £154.50. Pence. So, you know, I think the BBC really have been very unfair in doing what they've done. The BBC from their side of life will say, well, you know, we've lost out on money and we need to get that back somewhere. And the only way is to, you know, if they can't get it out of the government is to get it out the person who was receiving the licence. It really is, once again, a big mess, and I've said it before in videos, and I'll say it again in this one. It's time the BBC embraced subscription and scrapped the licence fee altogether. That way, people such as myself, who uh, choose not to act, receive BBC services, we don't need to be bothered with them. The people who want them will pay for them, and that's the way they go. Sky seem to be able to run a business model off it why not the bbc well folks i'm going to leave this video there hopefully you enjoyed the a look at that little letter i think i'll entitle this letters from tv licensing over 75s edition so folks please leave your comments below what your thoughts are on this like i said i've given you my thoughts on it uh, regarding both the change that they've made and you know why they've made that change so until the next time, from myself, Mr H, and a bit of a windy car park now, it's the wind's getting up out there, it is, bye bye for now.